Hello and welcome to the Rotopaint tutorial for the Foundry. In version 6, the Foundry replaced the Bezier and Paint nodes with a new combined Rotopaint node. In version 6.1, they have introduced a new lighter version, the Roto node. We'll start off with the Roto node and move on to the Rotopaint node later. Also new to 6.1 is an improved properties panel common to both the Rotopaint and Roto nodes and this area here is used to list and layer up all the different shapes and paint strokes. In addition, the Foundry has introduced these new toolbars into the viewer that allow you to work in full screen mode while still having access to the Roto Paint tools. And up at the top here are the tool settings that vary depending on which tool you have selected. In this next section, we will take a look at basic shape creation. Okay, we'll start with making a bezier shape but we also have the B-spline and pre-built ellipses and rectangles to choose from. So select Bezier from the tools and simply click on the viewer or click and drag to pull out the handles and when you're happy with the shape to close it either hover over the first point and click or press enter to close. Once you have finished your shape it appears here in the shape list. Now we'll have a look at the B-spline. Again select it from the toolbar and as you click your points, there are no handles to pull out, the shape appears inside the points. To change the tension of a point, hold down Ctrl or Command key and drag right or left to increase or decrease the strength of the point. If you wish, you can cusp a point to give it the maximum tension. And lastly, you can also select the whole shape and convert it to a bezier. Now let's look at Bezier's in a bit more detail, in particular the handles and also feathering which is common to both Bezier and B-spline. On the Bezier's point there are handles attached and as I drag them no surprise it changes the shape. If I pull out a handle it changes it more in one direction than the other. And if I hold down the control or command key and move the point I can break the angle between the handles and if I release the key we now rotate using the new angle. In the middle here is the feather tool and if I pull this out I'm feathering the shape at this point. To pull out or push in more than one feather at a time change to the select feather tool, lasso the points and this makes it easier to pull them out. As you move a point the feather locks to the point however you can move the feather independently but again move the point and the feather is locked. This is because the feather link is on in the tool settings here. Turn this off and they can now move independently. Also you have control of the overall feathering for a shape here within the properties panel under the Roto tab in the Roto or in the shape tab on a Roto paint node. Simply drag the slider to add feathering inside or outside your shape and adjust fall off here. In addition to what we have looked at so far, there are a few other ways we can modify our shape. We can select from the point tools here, or right click and select from the drop down menu, or we can use keyboard shortcuts. For example, I'll create some points using the add points tool, or I can use the control or command plus alt shortcut and pull out a point. Here is a brief overview of the other tools. To remove a point, we use the Remove Point tool, or we can right click and delete here, or we can select a point and hit it Delete on the keyboard. The Cusp Points tool will collapse any handles that may exist on a point, and we can do the same if we right click and select Cusp from the drop down menu, or we can lasso a point and use the shortcut Shift plus Z. If we want to expand handles we can use the curve tool and click on a point or again right click and select smooth or lasso a point and hit Z. I'm going to pull out a few feather points now or I can right click and select increase feather from the drop down menu 
or use the shortcut E to pull out the feathers. To remove the feather we can use the remove feather tool or again we can select a point, right click and reset feather or lasso multiple points and press shift D to reset the feathers that way. We also have a tool that allows us to open and close the shape which should become more useful in future releases. In the next tutorial we will look at working with layers in Roto Paint.